Hey hi welcome to Kids Lab hope you all are so well and after one day we are having the exam i know that some of the students still have some doubts so here i am presenting the one mark question solution hope in this video you will solve it let's get started watch the video till the end and kindly ignore my voice because it sometimes getting words and sometimes it is it can't be normal because i'm suffering from cold let's start so let's discuss some one mark question okay like find the value 28949 into 99 and here you can see minus of minus 28945 okay so here it is what now first of all let's write that 28945 into 99 minus into minus is equal to we know that plus and this one is 28945 any number can be written as the multiple of 1 okay it means we can write it here into 1 now in this 2 what we come to know that this one is multiplied with 99 again the same number is multiplied with 1 also okay so it means we can take common 28945 and what will left so first you can see that this one is 99 written so we will write 99 then it is plus sign 1 okay so what it will be now 28945 into 99 plus 1 is equal to 100 and your answer will be 2894500 okay this is the method if it is asking for only find the value you can find it out but this is the easiest method so that you can do because for one mark of question means you need to invest only hardly one one minute but try to invest less than 30 seconds or less than 45 seconds okay so this one can be done less than 30 seconds but if you will multiply 228945 with 99 then you need to add with that it will be a problem okay now similarly question number 2 determine the integer whose product is minus 1 is 78 means we will write an integer with whom the product with minus 1 if you will multiply with that minus 1 we will get 78 whatever you will multiply with 1 you will get the same number it means the number should be 78 but here it is minus sign so obviously this one also minus 1 it means sorry minus so it means what is the number the number is minus 78 next find the difference find the difference of what 8 minus 5 by 9 in one side you can see that this one is the whole number and the other side it is the fraction so what we will do the it's a whole number means its denominator is 1 so now the lcm of 1 and 9 or one of any number is the same number okay and this 9 will be directly multiplied with the whole number so 9 is a 72 minus 5 is equal to how much 67 by 9 okay so it means you can write it here 7 whole 4 by 9 because 9 7 are 63 plus 4 is equal to this one <clears throat> question number 4 is asking what should be added to 5 whole 3 by 7 to get 12 when this type of question will come kindly read the question once again what should be added means this one is a blank should be added because you people have also learned the simple equation how to write the uh, numerical expression to the statement and statement to exp algebraic expression that we know so what should be added to 5 whole 3 by 7 to get 12 so what should be number the whatever is added here other side it will be subtracted so let's do that the number is what not 12 Minus five four three by seven because what the same one rule okay now we will convert this mixed number to the improper fraction 
So it is 12 minus 7 fives are 35 plus 3 is 38 by 7. Again the same type of question comes. So this time I will not write to uh, divided by 1. Directly we will do. So here the LCM is 7, 12, 7 minus 38. And 84 minus 30 is 14 minus 8 is equal to 6. 7 minus 3 is equal to 4. 46 by 7 that 6 whole 4 by 7. Okay, there is some technical issue, so not able to record that one. So, the question was, express the following fraction as decimal 25 whole 1 by 8. First of all, convert this mixed number to the improper one. That is 25, 8 is 200 plus 1 is 201 by 8. So, there are three methods. The first method is directly divide this 201 by 8. So, what is that? 8, 2 is 16. 10 minus 6 is 4, 41. 8, 5 is 40. Likewise, you divide the numbers and 1 is the remainder. So, when you uh, come to know that anything, any number is the remainder, then put the decimal point in the quotient as well as in the dividend and also the decimal zeros because in the decimal point, in the right side of this decimal point, there will be no value of this zeros. Okay, so we can put them. So, now it is. 0 okay and it is what 8 ones are 8 10 minus 8 is equal to 2 and 0 20 8 twos are 16 10 minus 6 is equal to 4 then 0 40 8 fives are 40 and here you got the answer 25.125 okay so, if you will do the, what is the other method? 201 by 8. So, we know that with 8, if you will multiply 125, we will get what? Let's see. 8 fives are 40, 0 hold 4. 8 twos are 16 plus 4 is 20, 0 hold 2. 8 ones are 8 plus 2 is equal to 10. 1000. This one you have to remember for the quick mathematics. Or else you can do this method. Then let's multiply 201 with 125. So 5 ones are 5, 0, 5 twos are 10, 2 ones are 2, 2 zeros are 0, 2 twos are 4. Then it is 201 and 5, 2, 1, 4 plus 1, 5, 2. So, what do you get? 2, 5, 1, 2, 5. Can you see the same digits we got? And 25,125 by 1000 is equal to 25.125. Because it means here it is 3, 0 means after the decimal that should be 3 digits. Okay. This is the another method. What is the other method? Like if I will take that 25 whole 1 by 8. We know that 25 whole 1 by 8 is the combination or the addition of a whole number with its fraction. So, here we just need to convert this 1 by 8 to the decimal. So, 1 by 8 means we know that if you will multiply 125, we will get what? 1000. So, here it is 125 and the answer is 0 0.125. And here it is 25 plus 0 0.125 it means 25.125 because the whole number will only be added with the whole number and the decimal digits will remain same so in in this three cases we got the same answer which one will be easier for you you can do this for this two process this one is the lengthy one because you have to multiply 201 with 125 this one will be easier only you have to mind the decimal, sorry, the divisions. And here you have to remember that with 8, 125 should be multiplied. Similarly, for, with 4, 25 should be multiplied so that we will get the decimal fraction denominators as 100. With 5, you should multiply 2 so that you will get 10. With 20, you should multiply 5 so that you will get 100. With 10, it is remain same, 10. Okay, similarly also with the 16 and so many are there. Now come to the next question that is question number 6. Sikha cuts 50 meter of cloth into pieces of 1.25 meter each. If you are not able to understand any word problem, simply draw the diagram. This is the 50 meter of cloth. Assume and 
into pieces of 1.25 meter 1.25 meter means its length means each length is 1.25 okay so how many pieces does she get just assume that if this is not 1.25 it is 5 then each piece will be 5 meter means how many pieces now 50 meter cloth cut with the 5 meter of this length it means 50 divided by 5 10 pieces you will get okay so here also we will do the same that 50 meter division 1.25 meter it means 50 meter division 125 by 100 meter which means 50 meter division sign will convert to the multiplication sign reciprocal of this one is 100 by 125 okay and this meter meter will be cancelled out now what is that 5 uh, 25 twos are 50 25 fives are 125 we know 5 20 is are so what do you get 2 into 20 is equal to 40 pieces got it this is the method now <clears throat> what is a rational number this is the definition and we know that what is rational number now any number any number maybe that is a natural number whole number decimal number okay any number integer any number which can be written in the form of P by Q when, where Q not equal to 0. Any number which can be written in the form of P by Q where both P and Q are the integers but Q not equal to 0 because 0 is also an integer. Both should be integer. Maybe positive, both should be negative. Only P can be positive. Q can be also be positive, negative. Okay. Next. The next question number 8. A 0 is a rational number? Yes. 0 is a rational number. Justify your answer by giving usable, uh, using or giving suitable example. It means we can write 0 by 5, 0 by 100. Because according to the definition of rational number, Q should not be 0. But P can be 0. Okay. So P is here 0 and you can take Q as 5, 100, 1000, something else. Next, every rational number is a whole number. Stay true or false. Every rational number is a whole number. No. But all the whole number are rational numbers. So, this statement is what? False. If M is a common divisor of A and B, then A by B is equal to A division M divided by dash. So, obviously, if M is the common divisor, it means and it is divided, div divides A. So, definitely it will divide also B. So, answer is B division M. Next, the standard form of minus 1 is what? Minus 1, the same standard form this one. And don't think that it is asking for additive inverse or something else and don't write there plus 1. It is minus 1. Some more. This one is the number line. So, obviously, this number you have to convert it first to the uh, mixed number. Okay. Like we know that minus 3 whole 1 by 7 will come. Okay. So, then we will draw not with the pen obviously with the pencil and with the ruler draw the number line by giving the as it is saying the line so kindly give the arrow mark okay then here is the middle part is the zero on this side it is one two three this side similarly one two three more okay it is asking for what minus three so minus one minus two minus three because on its left hand side negative numbers are there okay Next is what? It is minus 3 whole 1 by 7 means more than minus 3. Okay. So, it means on its left side and the first one. So, this one is the first one 1 by 7. But you cannot show it like this. You have to mention that it is lie between minus 3 to minus 4. Okay. Minus 3 to minus 4. So, this is the first part. 
This is the second part minus 2 by 7, minus 3 by 7, minus 4 by 7, minus 5 by 7, minus 6 by 7 and this minus 4. So you have to use your, what is that, ruler properly. Next. Find the factors of the following expression minus 7xyz cube. So here we need to write its factor. First of all, what is that expression minus 7xyz cube. So what else are multiplied? First the num the coefficient, numerical coefficient is minus 7. Then we can see that x, then it is y. Then what do you think? Is it z cube? No, it is Z is multiplied three times that we need to write and this one is called as the factor tree. Okay, next come to the subtract this from this by column method. As it has already mentioned that you have to do this by column method. So here column method is what? Not horizontally but step by step. So first of all we come to know that which expression we will write it first. What is written? From this. So obviously this one is the bigger expression according to this question. So let's write that one. 5x square minus y plus z plus 7. Okay. Then we will subtract what? Minus x square. So obviously under this x square we will write minus x square. Okay. Because these are the like terms. Then is the minus 3z. It means no term for the y. So we will keep vacant that one. And minus 3z. Okay. Now we will give the subtraction sign here. But when we are subtracting the expression which carry the negative sign they will convert to the positive sign and which carry uh, positive sign that will convert to the negative sign. So both carry the negative sign so both will be positive. Now let's add them. So this is 5x square this one is 1x square because the coefficient of x square here 1. So 5 plus 1 is 6x square. Then it is minus y. Simply it will come down because no sign is here. Then it is plus z plus 3z. It means plus 4z and this is plus 7. So this is the answer. Okay. For this one mark also if you will not do this by column method also you are not going to get the mark. So kindly mind that one. Okay. Okay, now the next question, question number 7. Place the last two terms of the following expression in parenthesis. It means inside the bracket. Preceded by a minus sign. Before that the minus sign will be here. And the last two terms it is asking. So 7 whole 3 by 5x will remain same because this one is the first term. And then we will write minus and then we will write bracket. And inside the bracket these two terms will be there. Now how will you write this? So let's see that answer should be your minus 3z. And outside it is minus. So with minus what you will multiply so that you will get minus. That is plus. So here it is 3z. Okay. Now come to the next one. It is written plus 5y. But it is minus. With minus what you will multiply you will get plus. That is minus. So it is 5y. It means when you are taking common negative sign, those who are negative, they will be positive. Those who are positive, they will be negative. The sign will change there. Okay, if you don't know the uh, fundamental also, this is the trick. If you will take negative sign as a common, then minus 3z inside the bracket will be plus 3z and plus 5z will be plus 5y will be minus 5y. Now, the next question. Verify by substitution. It is asking that verify by substitution. Do not solve this one. You have to verify this, that one. It means it is written that, that x is equal to 8 is the root of this. So, what is that? Half of x means x by 2 plus 7 is equal to 11. This is the equation. And this equation, this part is called what? Left hand side. And what is this part called? Right hand side. 
okay so by substitution means instead of this x we will put the value of 8 and we will say that whether lhs is equal to rhs or not so first of all write the equation x by 2 plus 7 now put the value 8 by 2 plus 7 we know that first the division process will be done according to both mass rule okay so first division then addition so 8 by 2 is equal to 4 plus 7 is equal to 11 which is equal to RHS. So what you come to know that LHS is equal to RHS hence proved. X is equal to 8 is the root of this equation. Got it? This is the method only you can do. Now the question number 19. Find the value of X. So here you need to solve this. No LHS RHS. What is that? Now 3 whole into X plus 2 is equal to 7. So, here we can see that clearly A into B plus C and this one is the distributive property of multiplication over addition. So, let's do that. We have to give the implied sign because this implied sign refers to such that. Okay. So, now this 3 will be multiplied with the x, 3x plus 3 will be multiplied with the 2. 3 2s are 6 is equal to 7. Now what? Whatever is added. Okay. Do not directly go to the, uh, what is that? Uh, variable. Okay. Because with the variable coefficient is multiplied here. So first of all we check that what is added and subtracted. First separate that one. So as 6 is according to the transpose method, 6 is added. So other side it will be subtracted. Correct? So, let's do that 3x is equal to 7 minus 6. And inside the bracket also you can write subtract 6 on, this one is the right hand side, right hand side. Okay, it will be better if you will write like this. So, what do you get? Now, 3x is equal to 7 minus 6 is 1. Now, 3 is multiplied with x, it means other side it will be divided by so x is equal to 1 by 3 and this is the root or the solution of this equation okay so now what is that now we can write it here what we did now divide 3 on rhs okay and you can write x is equal to 1 by 3 is the root of this equation or the solution of this equation got it now come to this 20 number which is the last one mark type question. Number of terms in the following expression. First of all, let's write the expression once again. 5x by 5 plus 3y minus 7 by 9. Okay. This 5x by 5 means 5, 5 will be cancelled out and you will get x plus 3y minus 7 by 9. Correct. So now x is one term, 3y is another term, 7 by 9 is the constant, that is also another term. So how many terms are there? Total 3 terms. And this 3 terms expression, algebraic expression is called as what? Trinomial. Got it? Hope so you all have cleared all the doubts.